This month, McDonald's announced the opening of a brand new concept, Cosmics. Yes, that's how you pronounce that. And people are going bananas about it. I actually flew out from London just to try this place. I ordered one of everything on the menu. Oh my God! And the concept is primarily focused on coffee and specialty drinks, which, fine, but the real question is, why? Why is the world's largest restaurant chain piloting a new coffee shop? I mean, doesn't it already have more than 4,000 big cafes around the world? I couldn't get over my bewilderment, so I decided to look into it. And in doing so, I came across some wild theories, and one really blew my mind. In addition to announcing Cosmic's launch earlier this month, which, by the way, is named after this little alien guy no one seems to remember from a 1987 commercial. Hi ho, where's people? Cosmic here. I popped in from outer space on a trade mission. Anyway, McDonald's announced an ambitious plan to expand to 50,000 locations globally by 2027. Right now, they have a little over 41,000 locations worldwide, which would be the fastest expansion in its history. And while it feels like McDonald's is still one of the most prominent leaders in the fast food space, its annual revenue has technically fallen since 2013. And with competition from Subway, Starbucks, KFC, and even sexy new brands like Raisin Cane's, maybe they felt that the brand needed a little bit of a refresh. So McDonald's is doing things like revamping their burgers to have softer buns and meltier cheese, plus it's bringing back the fan favorite, the snack wrap. But back to the focal point of our piece, launching Cosmics. Let's take a closer look. First, what makes Cosmics different from Mick Cafes and the original Golden Arches? Well, according to the company, Cosmics are a small format beverage-led concept. Their menu right now consists of normal coffee shop items like chais, lattes, and assortment of frappes and slushies. And then there's some more exotic drink offerings like bright ass neon boba tea, which they're calling signature galactic boost because you know, Cosmic is an alien. Clever. And boba tea is a market that's having a serious moment right now, with some estimates predicting $1 billion in growth by 2027. Now, McCafes do offer more typical coffee shop style drinks like lattes and matchas and even frappes, but it seems like Cosmics offers new and more exciting flavors of these kind of drinks, including a turmeric spice latte and a churro frappe, which sounds pretty good to me. And it also has a very pared down food menu of a handful of breakfast sandwiches, snacks, and some sweets. Now, according to the company, Cosmic's drinks are customizable, which is not something you can really do at a traditional McDonald's or a McCafe. Part of McDonald's success stems from its hyper efficiency. And if you've ever been to a coffee shop, you know that one thing that really slows down a line is a complicated, customized drink order. But McDonald's CEO acknowledged recently that these souped up customizable drinks are a hundred billion dollar category that's growing faster than the rest of casual dining and has superior margins. And looking at the success of Dutch Bros, who's a drive through style coffee brand, it makes sense. It tripled its revenue in the last four years and opened a whopping 133 new stores just last year. Plus in Texas, where McDonald's intends to put nine out of its 10 cosmic pilot locations, Dutch Bros has opened opened 131 locations since 2021, and it sees the region as a critical part of its growth strategy. So yeah, I get why McDonald's wants to be part of that. Plus, with a pared down food menu, Cosmic's kitchens can be simpler than a traditional McDonald's, and a kitchen with fewer deep fryers and grills opens up more space for drink stations or whatever space they need for customizations, I suppose. But while researching, I started to see how Cosmics is more than just a brand refresh. It's actually a glimpse into the future of the brand as a whole. And I came across three plausible theories for why McDonald's is using this new brand as their guiding light. First, it's a testing ground for McDonald's heavy investment in AI design and other technology after its recent partnership with Google. On a small scale, McDonald's is getting to try out some simple design changes. For instance, when the first Cosmics launched in the Chicago suburbs, it got to try out its new four lane drive through Also, Cosmics large digital order signs offer customers faster ways to pay. You can pay at the sign for a speedier pickup window change, or you can choose to pay at the window if you need a little more time digging for your wallet. Now, with a simplified kitchen as well as no seating area at the first Cosmics, McDonald's is going to be able to see what a low build cost and reduced operational complexities can 
can do for efficiency, which is arguably McDonald's biggest key to success. And by applying some of Google's sophisticated technology, it's likely that McDonald's will be able to test out how few employees it can operate a location with. McDonald's CEO said AI will allow the company to use the data it collects on the 65 to 70 million transactions it does a day to get even smarter about how it operates. He imagines that one day a manager will be able to open their phone and with AI's help determine how to operate that particular location that day for maximum sales and efficiency. Also, this spirit of innovation is probably a pretty good look for investors. There's also the theory that McDonald's just wants to buy up more real estate. And McDonald's has a strong track record for buying up strategic, high traffic locations for their restaurants. In fact, some experts believe McDonald's executives view real estate as their main business. After all, any viable retail space that McDonald's occupies is one less that Subway, Burger King, or Starbucks can occupy. And if McDonald's already has locations in an area where it sees more valuable real estate, State, why not fill it with a Cosmics? Think about it. And then there's also the fact that the Fed just recently signaled the potential for three interest rate cuts next year, which would make these real estate purchases much less painful for the business. How did they know? And then of course, there's also China. And McDonald's is absolutely zeroing in on it. As part of their ambitious expansion plan, the company announced that it was planning to increase their presence in the country from 6,000 restaurants to 10,000 restaurants by 2020. Eight. According to McDonald's CEO, it's observed how household income correlates with total orders at a restaurant. And based on China's growing GDP, the company is confident that this will translate to higher family incomes and then higher profits for all these Chinese locations. In fact, the McDonald's CEO stated plainly that China could be McDonald's largest market. And just last month, the company announced it was buying back Carlisle's minority ownership stake in its China business for a reported 1.8 billion. Even though most of these locations in China are likely to be standard McDonald's locations, why not see how a hyper-efficient coffee and snack location performs? The Chinese coffee market is anticipated to grow at an annual rate of around 8%. China's beverage market from dairy-based drinks to coffee and teas appears to be booming. In fact, Chinese coffee company Luckin Coffee, which started in 2017, has surpassed Starbucks as the largest coffee brand in China, reaching over 10,000 locations in June. So clearly there's an appetite for fast, easy, perhaps sugary and convenient coffee in the country. Perhaps McDonald's is launching Cosmics to perfect it as a coffee outfit and ultimately make a huge money maker in their new largest market. Just saying. Whatever McDonald's is actually scheming for with their launch of Cosmics, I'm intrigued to see whether the brand succeeds or fails. On their opening day, The Guardian reported that despite the four lane drive through innovation, there was still a two hour wait. Perhaps it was just a result of hype, but it could have also been a failure of their new and improved efficiency models. There are 10 more Cosmic locations that are set to open by the end of next year. And even if this new concept is just an excuse to test out new tech or an excuse to snap up competitive real estate or to get a piece of a multi-billion dollar beverage market that they haven't been a part of yet, at the very least, it's been a huge marketing boom for the company.